Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple. We love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse. We packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert. Curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, just your judgment if you think i like it put in an offer the offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of june 2021 join us and our dogs Merlo and flora as we renovate our mason de Maitre. quite a murky misty morning here um not actually that cold um, today the next few days the forecast to be dry so I'm going to make a start on this side of the roof and as you can see it's in pretty poor shape most of the most of the tiles <laughs> are already slipping but uh, we're gonna I'm gonna take them all off and then we've got the boards underneath there we take them off and then felt it and then retile it with the same tiles that we did on the other side um so not too stressful today i'm on my own um father-in-law didn't feel like coming up today and i don't blame him it's a bit murky much easier when it's sun shining but i haven't got that today um and i'm gonna make a start right now Well, I'm making progress, nearly halfway there.
I've had a good day today. Um, I think it's gone a bit quicker because we've had experience of doing the other side and so we kind of know what I'm doing now. Um, whereas the other side was just a learning curve. So I've got um, nearly all of the lower half laps on, all the buttons, the felts there. I need to work out quite what to do with the corner bit here. Um, strangely enough, the gate post is actually the corner of the building. So the walls go off of the gate post each direction. There's this uh, flashing around it, um, which hopefully won't need to be replaced. Um, I'll worry about that when I get around to it. But uh, the light's going, it's getting colder, so I'm going in. Well, the battening's finished. Uh, I've got my assistant back today and we're starting to get the tiles on the roof. Um, again, because we know what we're doing from the other side, it's going quite smoothly. Um, but it is a very, very cold day. About three or four degrees out here. So uh, I might need to go in and warm up. Not sure how much we'll get done today. Yep, back again. I'm making good progress. Today I'm on my own. Um, my gopher has stayed at home. And it was meant to be bright sunshine, but it has been like this all day. I am absolutely frozen. But this roof won't go on by itself. So, not much more to do till I finish the tiling. Tricky bit to do around the gate post, and then the even trickier capping to finish off. So, I'm not going to get it done today, but I'm making good progress. Oh. It's a sunny day again, so um, I've taken the opportunity to do more of the roof. I've finished uh, fitting the tiles and starting on the capping. And as I work along, I'm fitting the top row of tiles. So you can see along there, there's more to, to do. And on both, both sides, that is, but I can lean over and reach the far side. And then nail the sort of right angle capping along the top. Um, so not much longer and it will be weatherproof. Yay! There we go. One roof. Finished. Yay. So having retiled the roof, I've got left over lots of bits of broken tiles. Uh, somebody came up with a suggestion that we could stick them in the concrete mixer um, to, to break them down into smaller chips and then use them for covering a soil in, in a rockery or something like that. So that's what I've been doing. You can see behind me the concrete mixer going round. Um, I'll go and show you what it does. Um, well, you can see some of the sites of been broken up into smaller pieces. Um, I think it does seem to be happening though, maybe I'm doing it for too long, is awful lot of dust. So I'm having to then riddle the slates. Uh, 
before I get um, some uh, clean, which I'm then bagging up. I've got some heavy duty sacks. Um, so that will do until we have anywhere to put them. Um, so I say, it is actually making a heck of a lot of dust. Um, I don't really think there's much you can do with slate dust, apart from chuck it away, so I'll be doing that. But as you can see, um, I have quite a lot of slates to get rid of. I did start off this process um, thinking, oh, I'll save them all, but then they broke up as I was taking them apart, so I then put buckets underneath the roof and... Um, missed when I was throwing them in quite a lot and then ran out of buckets and it's surprising actually how, how heavy this stuff gets so um, you forget this is actually just stone so it gets really heavy so now I've finished the roof um, it's nice and dry in here so we can get on with clearing all of this mess up um, I don't quite know how long it's going to take me with that concrete mixer and riddling everything. I might do a few bags and then get bored and then just chuck the rest away. We'll see. Time will tell. So as the attic windows, um, I'm re-puttying them. Um, I'm doing the same to any other window in the house that needs it and here I am on the balcony on the first floor um, and yep you guessed it these need a bit of work you can see quite how easily that existing putty is, is flaking off so I need to try and get the rest of this off without breaking the incredibly fragile glass. Um, then when, once I've done that, I can um, yeah, re-putty them. Um, leave them a week or so and then give the window or oh, in this case the doors a bit of a rub down the actual paint isn't too bad on the doors a lot of them have, have historically been protected because of the shutters the attic windows are especially bad because they don't have any shutters on them. The rest of the house does. In fact, the ground floor windows generally are okay. They just we're just going to paint them. Um, I don't think I need to do much puttying downstairs. These ones, however, I don't know whether it's because they are louvered shutters rather than just plain ones. Whether that makes them more susceptible or whether these haven't been redone, say, 30 or 40 years ago, maybe like the other ones have. But uh, in any case, these need doing. So that's oh, a job that I'm going to, excuse the pun, crack on with now. Well, I'm in the middle floor front on the suite. And um, I noticed whilst I was re-puttying the windows that this particular pane had a very small crack there and there, which corresponds to where the nails are that retain the glass in the frame. Um, so been out, got a new bit of glass and need to get it swapped over. 
So the glass has come out, just need to clean around the frame. There's still bits of putty that this duck miraculously did not degrade in the last however many years. Frame. Don't want it all at the bottom. Right. Perfect. Well, that's a couple of nails around on each side, so that glass is now held in the frame. Um, now that that's there, I will we'll be able to. Putty around it, uh, which will hide the nails, um, and then, as I say, wait a week or so, and then I can get this one finished off. Well, it's New Year's Day, and yep, yeah, we're taking Merlo and Flora for a walk on the beach. Yay! Uh -oh. oh no! Pocket warmer! <laughs> Such a friendly little dog. We've made it to the end of the beach. I'm just turning around. Despite Claire paddling, it's not actually that warm in the water. I think she's the only human who's paddling. What do you reckon, Flora? Flora, Flora, Flora. Hello, and welcome to Wine of the Week. Um, Rather than Wine of the Week, we thought that we'd kick this year off with a soft drink. Yeah. We found this a couple of months ago in a French supermarket, and this, this is Transparent Cola. Um, <laughs> Whatever E150D is, there's none of it in this. Um, so, yay. <laughs> um, Let's give this a whirl. It says, it says it looks the same as normal Coke if you're wearing good sunglasses. It does. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, it's in French, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, pour away. <laughs> Could be lemonade, but this is really confusing. It is. Well, <clears throat> what does it smell like? Coke. It does, doesn't it? it smells like cola. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like cheap Coke. A cola. <laughs> cola. Cola. Cheers. Good cheers. Um, and Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. Blimey. It tastes like cheap cola as well. It does, doesn't it? Shall we make this better? Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know whether I like that or not, but never mind. 
mind. It's open now, it's open it. Oh. Yeah. So, thanks everyone for watching. We had a lovely new year. We had a lovely new year's down on the beach. Um, I've not been around this week much because I've been at work. But hopefully next week I'll go back to normal a bit more and just go back to part time. I've been quite busy around the house. Um, not always videoing everything because it gets quite boring watching me paint or watching me tidy up. Um, but yeah, we're gradually making progress and um, hope to make a lot further progress this year. So thanks for following us on our journey. Yeah, thank you. And don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or our website, www.theexpatbutchers.com. Happy Year! Happy Year!